Welcome back. In this video, I would like to show you something real short and real quick, which is to create a tooltip or add a tooltip to one of your controls. Therefore, I create a new WPF project and in my grid, I'm just going to add a button. And the button has a property called tooltip. So there we are, tooltip, and I can simply enter whatever should be written when somebody hovers over the button in order to trigger this tooltip. And I'm gonna say something like, I'm a tooltip, I'm useful. Something super helpful, <laughs> I'm useful, like that. And then I can enter a text to the button as well, hover for more info. And this button should be a little smaller, so I'm going to give it a width of, let's say, 150 and a height of 100. All right, so now let's check it out. There we are, and now let's hover. And you see, I'm a tooltip, I'm useful. Great, so this is how you can use tooltips, and they work for multiple different controls. So it's not just for buttons, it's also available for let's say a text block. Let's create a text block here, text block, and add a tool tip. As you can see, I, well, enter something. Please enter your age below. Something like that. It's a tool tip and then the actual text should be something like age. So I'm going to get rid of the button from before like that. And as you can see, now we have this H text block and maybe I should reduce its size as well with 100 height, 100, something like that. Now let's check it out. And there we are. I hover over it. Please enter your H below. So of course this is a text block. It doesn't contain any, well, we cannot add text to it, but if we had a text box below that, then we could add that tooltip to the text box as well. But as you can see, this can be super helpful for the user if something is not completely clear and you want to add some information. All right, so that's tooltips. And in the next video, we are going to check out radio buttons. So see you there.